friends, I'm gonna be straight up with you. We have a problem. This. This is the problem. So you see, I've been doing this thing called buying too many Squishmallows and that has resulted in me having no space left on my shelves. So I've been having Squishmallows just kind of like chilling on the floor as you've seen in the back of some of my YouTube videos. Also, my cats have gotten in here and have cause absolute chaos so a lot of these were on the shelves but got knocked down by my cats like my bigfoot shelf has suffered the most unfortunately so we need to do something about this it is time for yet another squishmallow reorganization now i have done two of these videos already and this will be number three i definitely recommend you go check them out because it's kind of like you know, the backstory and the lore and all that kind of stuff, you should go watch them. We definitely have to work on the Bigfoot shelf because that got just like absolutely annihilated. But the other shelves, like we'll maybe do some touch-ups, but that's kind of it. I actually have a different idea that we're gonna do today that still involves a lot of Squishmallow organizing. I have decided that I am going to take this yellow shelf and I'm gonna take all my stuff off of it and we're gonna put Squishmallows here instead. I think it's gonna be really fun. This has like a little spiral design, so I think if we just shove some Squishmallows in there, it's gonna look super cool. So I think that would be really nice. And I also have this Squishmallow Five Below display that has been sitting next to my computer and I have some plushies on it, but the lower shelves are full of my junk mail. So I really need to like repurpose this. I feel like we need to go back to our roots and we need to put Squishmallows in here. What am I doing? So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, so we're gonna take everything down i'm gonna throw it all into a basket and i'm gonna deal with it later <laughs> but i think first i want to work on the yellow shelf so let's go over there i did put all these squishmallows in a pile for dramatic effects so <laughs> now i have to very embarrassingly fix it so yeah like i mentioned my cats have been totally destroying some of my shelves so a lot of these are just ones that are on the floor but they're supposed to go on this shelf but my cats just love to jump up there now i can actually sit here and access this so i have this little blue bin we're gonna put everything in here i don't think there's gonna be any method to the madness it's just gonna be madness so let's start with the plushies because i want to put the soft things at the bottom no think just do see like i don't know exactly where these are all gonna go oh no there's a cable here so how are you guys how's your day been Mine has been pretty good. Thanks so much for asking. Um, let's see, we've got some little teeny, tiny little frog things that I don't want to get lost in this basket. So I'm gonna put those up there. I wasn't even planning on filming this video today, but my office has been such a state of disaster and I wanted to film a different video, but I was like, mm, am I really gonna film a video with my office looking so bad in the background? So I'm like, okay, we might as well just clean up the office first, which means I got to organize all my Squishmallows. So here we are. Also, this is not a big enough basket. We're already full here. So I don't know what I was thinking. All right, all my bum bums are coming down. I love bum bums. I've been trying to get my hands on new ones, but I haven't found any. I've been so terrible at finding the little ones. Like I love the little ones so much. This is my newest one is so cute i love it okay i also have this squishmallow like display thing i'm gonna have to use this too because the the basket is done we're at capacity we're at capacity so i guess i could use this one for more of the fragile things i've got some goose salt and pepper shakers those gotta go in here little freaky cow mugs love that that was almost bad. That was almost so bad. This is also at capacity, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. I need more containers. So I have this basket full of clips. I'm just gonna empty that out. Oh, excuse me. There you go. Well, that filled up very quickly. Um, cool, I'm out of storage baskets for this. Everything else I'm just gonna take off and just put on the floor somewhere, I guess, because I don't, I don't really have anything to put this inside of. Oh no. Not my magic stuff, no. Should I put my Magic the Gathering cards in this Hello Kitty thing? I think I should. I think I should. The smallest cable there ever was. Okay, well, there she is. She's all clear. I kind of have this giant Care Bear and giant Build-A-Bear frog in front of it. So I guess, uh, let me clear these away. Let's get a duster or something and let's dust all of this off because it is looking a little nasty. I'm just gonna give this a quick wipe. Just let the dust go everywhere else 
in my room, you know? I really need to put Squishmallows here that do not have a home. For example, the biggest one that I've been struggling to find a spot for is good old Lalinda. Love her so much, love her colors, but like what shelf does she belong on? She's not one specific color, so it's been perplexing me, to be honest. I've been very perplexed by Lalinda. I see clearly I could fit her right here. That would be easy, and then maybe we could put like two five inches right here i feel like that could work or she could she could fit perfectly here you know and there's other squishmallows here to like balance her that's a good that's a good game plan oh wait she kind of fits perfectly in the middle oh i kind of like that i kind of like that okay she's gonna stay there for now because i like it <laughs> we also have good old marjorie i love her i guess we could just start like making a spiral i also have everett um i'm actually thinking i kind of want to put marjorie down here everett can we please fit you here I think we can fit you here, yes. This is gonna work nicely. I'm really excited about this. I think next let's do good old Santino. I do have Santino. I think the corner, I think the corner, that's looking good. So we have a little bit of a gap here. I do have these Womina frogs, absolutely love them, but I just don't know what shelf to put them on. It's my eternal struggle. What color are they? They have so many colors, so I never know where to put them. So I think that I wanna upgrade them or I don't know if you count this as an upgrade, whatever, and just put them here. I also have this little bunny who I did get at a thrift store and I don't know her name, but she's so cute. I have been using her kind of like as a cuddle squish, but I think it's time for her to finally be on display. <laughs> and she's a little understuffed and lumpy, so she's okay if she gets a little bit squished. I either want to put this beautiful pink ladybug Marla or Danny on here. Does she fit here is the question. <laughs> she kind of does, but her poor antennas are getting squished. So I think instead I'll try to do Danny. I kind of keep a specific color scheme on my Bigfoot shelf. I keep it to a white, blue, pink kind of color scheme. So this dark blue doesn't really fit. I have this really cute Arabella. I love her. This is an adorable little cat from Claire's. So I think that these are perfect to go on the shelf over here. We can definitely fit Arabella back here. Oh, maybe we prop her up. I had some some freaking risers. Where are they? Here's one. Let's prop you up with a little riser, even though she kind of stays there by herself. And then we'll put Lobi right in front. Cute. Oh my goodness. I just had a great idea. What if I move my Sanrio Squish to this shelf? I think let's try it. I started taking them off of the shelf before I'm like, wait a sec. You guys definitely want to see this, so let's take them off. This shelf here, unfortunately, is permanently attached unless I go get some pliers, so we're going to have to work around this. We're just taking them off. Pretty plain and simple. I have a lot of Hello Kitties. Let's get back to it. I think Miss Hello Kitty with the mermaid tail will fit well here. And then let's get some smaller ones, maybe like some seven inches and a five inch, and we can kind of put them here. Do I still have the small mermaid Hello Kitty? Oh, yes. I do, perfect. I think let's do the same thing. Let's get another riser, prop her up, and we'll put one in front. Let's do it. Anyways, I have more of these risers. They have a plastic film on them. I'm too lazy to take it off. I'm gonna be straight up with you. You're not gonna see it back here, so it doesn't matter. She's so cute in this size. I like the smaller one much better than the bigger one, but they're both cute. They're both cute. Maybe a little pom-pom. I kind of want like a smaller one in front of this mermaid, so that way you still see her little seashell bra. So now we're at another corner, so we can put another large baby here. This isn't really like color coordinated whatsoever, and it's like little keep bothering me but I think I'm gonna push through it so here's my thought process I've got a little Leland and I've got this mystery bag Yeti so I think we can stack these I'll put the mini Leland shoved up in the corner here you know what I've got some little ones back here that never get any love because they're so hidden so let's stick some of these back here I've got a little Angie why not? We'll stick her in the little crevice. I'm stealing these two blue cats from my blue shelf. I'll put this little Valentine's Day kitty. I think I will put a little five inch right in front as well. I've got this little Aziza. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna do about kind of like this corner area right here. This is where I usually have my big green Build-A-Bear frog and he kind of sits halfway in here. So I think let's skip this area just in case i want to put him back let's do a little tuxedo sam section i have quite a few of him i feel like we can fit this up here somewhere we'll prop him up a little bit there you go same with this bad boy actually i'm going to scooch this one over and we'll put this little five inch in the middle 
Now I also have this adorable Lana. She's kind of been like sticking out, like jutting out and I always accidentally like brush against her and knock stuff over just because she's sticking out and she's in the way. So I was thinking that she could go up here instead and she does not stick out here, wow. Let's work on Hello Kitties. I have so many more Hello Kitties. We're just gonna kind of pile them up over here. Oh, I guess not. Now if we want to put Marla here, does she fit? Do we need to put more squish on the bottom? We kind of do. I may do some rearranging actually. I think Danny's much better over here. There we go. Why not? We'll put the Hello Kitties here instead. This one is so squished. <laughs> I feel so bad. I'm sweating from this. I'm sweating. I'm liking how this is looking besties. I'm liking how this is looking. We'll put Karomi back here. We'll put the My Melody with a little riser right in front. Oh no, but I love this My Melody. Maybe I put Cinna in the back instead. And then we put My Melody in the front with the little My Melody. I just had to turn on the fan for a sec and just like breathe. <laughs> I also wanted to give you a bird's eye view of the chaos, so yeah. But I kind of have a crazy idea that I kind of want to impulsively do. So we might do that once I eat dinner and come back. So the other thing that I have been trying to figure out is where can I put the Squishmallow 5 Below display that I showed you earlier, the yellow one? Where can I put that on my setup? Because I love it so much and I love how it looks when it's filled with 5 inch Squishmallows. I think it's so cute. And of course I haven't included it in this area because I haven't figured out where to put it. It's pretty bulky so it like doesn't really fit anywhere nicely. What if we take this middle shelf out because I already took off most of the Squishmallows from it and what if we put the yellow thing here and then I can put the big green guy in the space on the bottom where the yellow thing like is like next to it. Does that make sense? Because I'm like, do I really want to waste all this space over here on the yellow thing because of the green guy? I don't know. We're going to see. I'm going to go eat dinner really quick and then we'll come back and we'll get to it and I'm going to test this pretty crazy theory. So I went and had my little dinner. We got some Wawa. If you guys are familiar with that gas station, it is fantastic. They have like a hot food section. It's so good. So I was testing out this little uh, display case and seeing if it would fit and it would fit. I just had to remove all my clips. So I just went ahead and did that and took off my YouTube plaque and it fit right in perfectly. And I just started getting everything off just to clear the way for all the squishmallows that were gonna go here. I am so excited that this actually freaking worked. This is already so much more chaotic than I thought it was going to be. I want this to be a rainbow. So I'm just gonna literally grab squishmallows from my shelves and just put them here. You know what? Why not? Why not? I know this is not a five inch, but all of my red five inch squishmallows are either strawberries or mushrooms or octopi. And I just, they have such big families. I'm gonna keep them there, okay? I'm sorry. So we're gonna do obu instead. <laughs> and then we have orange we'll go on to orange next let me grab some more again not a five inch but you know what at this point at this point what are we gonna do you know so here we go we'll put our ggs and our obus here i'll stick this little back clip here because why not let's do some yellows oh should i put juni in here actually though i should put juni and noodles wait i'm so i have to i'm sorry oh do i have like a yellow clip that would fit perfectly my juni clip duh you know what since we have noodles why don't we put gerard because he's a duck there's there's that. I think I'm gonna do Gobo, who's a little gummy bear, and we're gonna do all my avocados. There we go, looking real cute. <laughs> Let's do some blue. Let's put all the bugs. Oh my God, yes. I have these bad boys. And then I guess I can also pull my snails and my butterflies. So we can jam these in here, sure, why not? So cute. Oh my goodness, everybody's looking so good. I think I will do purple next. I'm wondering if I have enough purple bugs to justify doing all bugs on the purple shelf too. This may just be an axle shelf, which you know what? I'm not really mad about that. I can also throw in this little swirl snail clip and then we'll do the clip in the front. Oh my goodness, so cute. Last but not least, pink. I have one pink bug that I could do down here, but I don't know if I have enough. I could do bugs and shrimp. Oh my God, I could do bugs and shrimp. I just realized you can probably barely see what I'm seeing. Okay, there we go. <laughs> here are the little scrimps. So cute. Oh, I don't know what that is. And I have a little Mary Bell clip that, you know what, I'll put in between the two snails. This bottom half is literally pure bugs, but I'm kind of here for it. I think it was worth the chaos. I think it was. Since this is just turning into full-blown chaos, um, you know what, we might as well just 
keep it rolling. So my next idea was to get rid of this Build-A-Bear shelf because I love my Build-A-Bears, but I'm thinking I'm gonna move them because this is valuable real estate that we could be using for Squishmallows, you know? And yeah, this is going to be a new shelf. So I'm thinking this shelf has been half purple, half yellow, and it's always been kind of a problem because I can only fit a certain amount of purples and a certain amount of yellows, and I wanna buy more, but I'm like, I can't, I don't have any room on their respective shelf. So we're gonna break it up. I'm gonna put the yellows underneath here, and this will be a purely purple shelf. I'm just gonna quickly organize this and we'll get on to it. There we go, that's gonna have to do for now. Okay, there we go, I think that's pretty good. Wait, there's other Squishmallows that I forgot that have been sitting in other parts of my house. I need to go get those. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I found my Irina clip that was in my bedroom, my Brenda clip that was in my bedroom, this guy who I bought, I don't even know how long ago, for some reason was in my closet. This, um, I think it's a Piper freaking, what is this called? Sorry, I sprinted back here. I'm kind of out of breath. Um, stackable, I think it's from 2018. Yeah, it's from 2018. I found it at a thrift store. And then this customized Olga that I got at some point for something I forgot. I don't know why I have this. Let's try to finish this off. I think let's try to finish this and then we'll organize everything else. For the stackables, I'm actually thinking I'm gonna take her down and I'm thinking we put them on top of each other and then we put them somewhere. Why is there a literal leaf in here? How did this get in here? What the heck? I'm thinking they fit perfectly right here on the bottom my wallace also needs to go here somewhere i'm thinking i'm just gonna stick them right there for now i'm gonna grab lula because is she pink is she blue we don't really know i feel like she would fit good here i actually have an extra joelle um she's weighted she's three pounds she's really nice from rc shero on instagram check her out for cute customs and weighted squish very nice but i think i will put her at the bottom here since she is heavy but if i want to use her for her weighted ability. She's still easily accessible down here. I just have to take off Lula and then I can just grab her. So that's pretty easy for me to access. Let's try to make the most of this little section here. Like I said, I'm scared of this plug. I could get those little things that you put inside of them to like child proof it, you know what I mean? But I don't have them right now and will I remember to order them? Probably not. So in the meantime, oh maybe I could Hmm, okay, what if I dump out this basket and then I could turn it upside down, right, right? And then we could have a squish on top. Oh, cute. And then like, it's not touching the plug directly. Like it's away from it. Like there's a few inches of space there. I should put a plushie inside of this. That would be really funny, actually. We can put my customized octopus inside of it. That's kind of funny. Customized octopus in jail with the clown octo on top. Let's see if I can fit all three of these here. I don't know if it's possible. I sometimes use these capsules as a riser. We put the bunny in the back. On top of another capsule, can we maybe potentially squeeze this tuxedo salmon? Uh, yes, we can. You know what? I have a bunch of goats that look weird on my frog shelf now because it's only frogs there and Avery. So let's just do like a little green goat family here. Why not? So now I think we're just gonna do a shelf refresh. I'm gonna go shelf by shelf, just fix everything. And then I'm still not done after that. I'll be done with the Squishmallows, but I still have all the other plushies that I took down from this thing and various other areas. So that'll be fun. I don't know if that's gonna be included in this video. We'll see. But yeah, I'm just gonna quickly speed through these shelf refreshes. I'm just gonna fix up everything, just do a time lapse and I will meet you back 
once I'm finished. I was so tired by this point. I truly just wanted to like stop filming and maybe pick it up another day. But thankfully I was able to press on through and I'm glad that I did because that way I can get this video up this week. Because if I didn't, then I definitely would have procrastinated this for like multiple days and then the video wouldn't have gone up. So whatever, I'm glad that I just pushed through. But I was like, yeah, let me just stop narrating. I've been talking so much for so many hours. Let me just put on some headphones and listen to some YouTube videos and organize all my squish. And it was very calming, not gonna lie. Like it was actually really fun to do. It does take a lot of extra energy when I'm doing these types of things and also trying to make a video out of it at the same time. You know what I mean? Cause I gotta figure out the angles, the lighting, I gotta talk, I gotta be energetic and all that kind of stuff. So to just kind of like stop doing all of that just for the end of it and just like relax and just be in kind of like a chill mode was very satisfying very therapeutic so it was a lot of fun anyways I realized I forgot to do a final count of all of my squishmallows in this video so I'll probably do that in my next squishmallow hunting or squishmallow haul video that's usually where I do them anyways but I hope you guys have been enjoying this video and also if you haven't heard the news I do have a cameo now which is where you can book a personalized video from me so if you haven't checked that out yet feel free to check it out it's linked down in the description down below thank you so much to those of you who have already booked with me it's been super fun so far making all of these custom personalized videos but yeah truly the squishmallow organizing was so needed like i've been feeling so overwhelmed when it comes to squishmallows and kind of plushies in general but mainly squishmallows because there are so many new ones coming out and there's always like the new seasonal ones and everything so i'm like oh my god like there's always ones that i want to buy and i was just running out of room and they were just on the floor so I really felt overwhelmed and I was like I really need to do something like this is just too much like every time I would come in my office I would like look at all the plushies on the floor and just be like oh my god this is stressing me out <laughs> and there's still plushies on the floor I'll be honest I put up all the squishmallows on shelves but in return um all of the other plushies that I took off of the shelves to put the squishmallows are still on the floor so that's unfortunate really I just think I need to buy some more shelves like to put on the walls and stuff to put my plushies on and I think we'll be good after that. I'm definitely gonna get a shelf for all of my Build-A-Bears because I took all my Build-A-Bears off and I even have like a nice little spot where I think they'll fit perfectly so all of that stuff is kind of in the works and I did end up doing like a little bit of rearranging in my office um, just putting that shelf that was in the middle of my Squishmallow shelves I put that somewhere else and kind of like organized that but I was literally doing that at like 1am and I was like I'm so done like I, f I had already finished the Squishmallow part and I was like you know what I just gotta do this on my own just so my office is not a disaster even though it still kind of is but I'll be sure to show you all of that like in my next vlog or whatever that'll be fun and surprise surprise I finally took my Ludwig out of the plastic you guys would always leave me comments asking why is he still in the plastic and honestly I was just like oh maybe he'll just like keep his value if he's still brand new in the plastic you know kind of like not taking a Funko Pop out of its box or whatever but then I I started thinking about it more and more and I'm like you know what I freaking love my frog squishmallows am I really like ever gonna get rid of them or sell them no so I ended up taking him out of the plastic you can all rejoice it was very satisfying so hopefully that looks a lot better on my shelves now I did rearrange my little frog section slightly because I did have just so many Roberts and Ludwigs so I was like you know what I'm gonna put them on the left side of the shelf rather than the right where they were before and now that shelf is primarily frogs, which is great. My friends, we are finally finished. 
This has taken me literally the rest of the night, but we are finally done and I'm so excited. It looks so good. I feel like it looks so clean, so fresh. I just love the new arrangement. I'm that type of person where I need to like switch things up every so often otherwise I start to get bored so this was the perfect refresh reset that I needed yeah I feel like this was pretty good so I'm super excited about it we have lots of space on the shelves now we even have empty spots like back here freaking empty I have plenty more room to buy more squishmallows which is great that's the point of it all right <laughs> so that's gonna be it for me thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it and if you did please leave me a comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't already don't forget to check out my other two squishmallow organizing videos if you want to see that chaosness and also if you want merch like this frog vibes t-shirt that i've been wearing this whole video check out my merch shop link is also down below so i'm gonna get going thank you so much again for watching and i will see you in the next one